okay this is a pulse generator um, to that add object it's just going to fire out some random particles I turn up the particle count so you see a little red dot there here I've got a random actor which is just going to affect the gravity of X and Y so yeah and just use the pulse generator to fire out some random values you'll see this obviously spits out some pretty boring but you get the idea these are just firing out randomly turn on color just so you can see what I'm doing here so a bit of a blue and a red I think okay so you can see that's going along nicely um, right so the 3d renderer which is here 3d renderer the new actor for this version and you need a projector okay and if we link these together you'll see nothing happens yet because there's one little key you need to go to here and there's a little help file if you alt click it'll tell you more about it so you can read that at your leisure change it from stage to render or renderer and now this is basically feeding it through into this actor and obviously the projector so if we turn and um, so if we create a motion blur and I'll put a shimmer on as well you'll see that although this stage looks the same and um, I'm going to just delete this and link it back together you will now see that the particles are still there but it's got motion blur and this kind of shimmer effect so it's clearly working I can play around with this and make it a bit more obvious and um, so now that is being fed straight into the 3d render so you can see it's clearly got lots of shimmer and motion blur if I turn the particle size up you'll see it really starts to shimmer and it's clearly being affected by the 3d renderer so that's it really um, it works you just need to remember this little toggle here so if I flick it back to stage for example the effects that motion blur and um, shimmer have created are still there but you'll start to see the old shapes peeping back through there in fact if I um, bypass these or yeah let's delete them and it's still there okay thank you